Oh, it sounds like it's raining outside. Oh, wow. Wow. But yeah, dish, dish look. Mm -mm. The rain will not defeat this look. Are you dumb? Nah. Amount of space I've used. It will stand the test of time. But today, we're doing this glowy look. Like, honestly, look at that glow. When I say glow, I mean glow. Not oil. Glow, honey. As in we're gloating. I love this look. I love this look so much. I love the outfit. I love the eyes. I love the lip. That the lips. I was going to do a gloss, and I probably may change it to a gloss. But I'm loving the matte look. I can't deny it. Like some days gloss, some days matte. This is the look. And like I say, front videos, like, comment, subscribe, whatever else YouTubers say. Blah 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 blah. But continue to spread awareness we can't stop now like honestly we're making such i can't say such a progress but things are changing like sign as many petitions as possible and spread it through your social media whether it be instagram snapchat whether you be your own channel or even just talking to colleagues because i ran into a friend um this week or was it yesterday yesterday actually and she was telling me about how in her workplace how they had a, like a big debate about base and everything that's been going on and what is common is that not to generalize but let's just say the 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 lighter end of the spectrum the people the caucasians some they sympathize but they still just don't get it like they just don't and I don't want to make excuses because you can't say well you've not been in that situation but they should have empathy and they should know that things aren't okay you know what i mean like when me and a another colleague for example could say we don't feel as protected by the police as say you would they just can't grasp it because in their mind like that it's like well if you can't trust them who can you trust like they've always been good to you but that's the point they've been good to you but doesn't mean that they've been good to everyone like I, do you know what I mean a black man could be walking down the street man his own business and then just randomly one cop can just end his life and you may sympathize but unless you've been through it and been a victim you're not going to understand so continue to have conversations with people and she was just telling me how um she was it was like a lengthy discussion and some people got it some people didn't and it was a bit frustrating and it kind of is is when you're making a point and then someone's trying to disprove it but not knowing facts it's almost like with like i mean i don't know i don't really care about people's stance on like vaccines beef pro vaccines anti-vaccines but i think it's a bit disrespectful when people who've gone to uni college and places like that studied and they've got a degree in it and you can write a a paper dissertation whatever or that your drug has been approved and then someone who with no knowledge no understanding no degree no anything can come counter your argument and then people take that as gospel it's kind of like well you've been through something you've know what it takes in this case um you've become specialized in a field say medicine whatever and for someone who doesn't have that background that knowledge who's not worked as hard as you've worked who's not studied the topic as in depth as you have to so just come write something and their word be taken over yours it's a bit insulting like this it's how can someone who's not experienced racism or the feeling of not being settled or being a bit fearful of seeing the police and for someone who doesn't have that feeling to be like kind of be like oh well i don't have that feeling so i can't see where you're coming from just because you don't have that feeling of the experience that like you can't just not take into someone else's feelings into into account you may not feel like that but a lot of people do and time and time again people have people have lost their lives like let's be real people have lost their lives out of ignorance out of racism out of nonsense and 
hopefully the law will tighten up and those who go out and commit crimes will do the time none of this or they've just been suspended like that's not enough we want action it needs to be fair it needs to be right and hopefully we'll make headways but on a lighter note i hope you guys like the look because i really like the look i think it looks really nice really cute so yeah it's better to go from a deep topic to talk about oh look at the makeup but yeah like i'm always going at the beginning and the end i'm always going to bring forth that message because we can't forget it we can't forget it we we, we need to keep on talking about it so without being shared let's just start the video let's go this way or this way i don't know which way but we're gonna go either way but yeah <laughs> it's all hi welcome back to the channel fresh is first get your robe we got two drinks today we got the rest of the ginger wine because it's life and then we have water because you have to stay hydrated in the streets it's no joke back in with the soul palette from colourpop because why not but um i'm going to take what is it Dynamite, which is the shade right here, this orange shade. I'm gonna take it on with my Morphe M330 um, brush, and this is just gonna go into your crease. And once you like built up the color, like we're gonna go back in and blend and stuff. I'm going to take like. A brush like this it's kind of like tapered it's supposed to be more round but i've kind of like flattened it out just a little bit but that's the brush shape and then i'm gonna take it's got like three dots i think it's to leave it in suspense or oh, i don't know what that means but yeah that's the shade it's like this bright bright orange color and this is gonna literally just go into the crease just to deepen it like can y'all see that colour? I don't know if the camera's picking up well but and then you're gonna go back in with the first brush back into the first colour and just literally blend blend until you like how the blend is looking okay so I'm happy with that for now and then what we'll do is I'm gonna take the brush that I used to put on the concealer well the Louise base whatever's left just literally just pat it because you can see there's still a bit left on there it's not a cut crease you don't need to be precise it's just clean up the lid slightly and then I'm gonna go into the B&B shade and it looks darker in the pan than it does it looks more orange when you like swatch it and you like, put it on your lid I'm just gonna literally take my finger and then do y'all see that swipe? It was one swipe. And do you see how it looks really orange? Then you're just gonna swipe this on the lid. And then we're gonna go back into the second brush that we used to put down the second shade. And then it's going to just carve it out slightly. I'm then going to take the Colourpop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Sailor and it is pink in here, it looks kind of like pink but it's more iridescent on, it kind of looks like, let's see, but it looks more like iridescent so it's going to be like the perfect shade to go on top, so again use your finger, and why did I get rid of my mirror, this is my mirror, I'm just gonna give it a bit more shine. I'm just gonna go all over the lid. Don't know if it's gonna pick it up on camera, but can y'all see how it's just a bit shiny? Don't know if you can see. I'll take a good picture so you can actually see it. Time for skin. 
skin 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 and what am i going to use today oh my god i never ever know oh do you know what i want this skin to be very glowy i want like my natural freckles to peep through i want to add more freckles i just want this to be like flawless but lightweight like i'm still gonna wear makeup still wearing foundation concealer all of that but i just want it to be like it's natural you know so for my cream um i'm going to go into the hendrickson contour balance oil control hydrator this is like the oily skin range i think it's got it yeah it's got ahas in there and it's got a whole bunch of good stuff next for primer um i'm going to use this one from kvd it's a really good primer no one really speaks about this primer everyone goes on about the one this way um milk other good primers are there Ulla Hendrickson I don't think many people talk about this and it's a, it's a really good primer like don't get me wrong I've had all the other primers and the good primers I wouldn't change them but this is also a good primer I use this with their foundation and the match is just so perfect like I wouldn't try anything else like if I know I'm going in with the Kat Von D foundation whether it's mixed in with something else even on its own I'm always going with this primer because the match is just perfect okay and then for the centre of my face, I'm going in with the Body Shop Insta Matte. Um, I don't think there's a primer. I know that I actually have a primer, but I think this is like a multi-use thing. You can use it with foundations. You can mix it in with foundation for lipstick. Um, it can mattify like lipsticks and stuff like that. So I don't think it's an actual primer. This is just like a mattifying gel. But I think they do have a primer in this. But yeah, that's what we're going to use today. And, ooh, and it does have that wow can, can i go <gasps> no yeah. oh my god like i don't know if you can see but this all came out like see an eyeshadow was actually missing where'd it go oh okay found it i just need to think what were the names because i don't think they were the names no i mixed up the last two Okay. I'll have to look at the palette because it's literally falling out so if the names and the shades aren't matching that is the reason why so be careful with these it went back in like a dream I don't think it's gonna come out again unless you really tap it but just be careful oh now I'm gonna go with the mattifying um gel and like I was saying it does have that silicone feel um but it really does mattify the skin. I'm not sitting everywhere else, just the T zone with translucent powder. So I think I'll take I think I'll take my Lava Mercier. That's what I'm gonna take. And then we're gonna move on to foundation. And I think I'm gonna mix two. So I'm going to take my NARS Radiant Low Wear Foundation, the Natural Radiant Low Wear Foundation in the shade Taho. I'm going to do probably maybe two pumps. Yeah, two pumps of that. Oh, table is a mess. Then I'm going to take the Maybelline Dream, uh, Dream, Dream Urban Cover. This is in the shade Golden Bronze. And then... I use this all the time, um, mostly when I'm going out because I just I just love it so much. And um, this is the Marc Jacobs. I know this is expensive, it's a bougie Marc Jacobs, but it's so good. This is their Dew Drops, the coconut gel highlighter. So, wow, the bomb highlighter. This is the light shade. They do have a deeper shade. Um, I can't remember the name, but it's almost like a bronzy shade. I really do want to get that, but for now I've just got the original shade and mix in with foundation on the skin alone as a highlight probably use a bit of this as a highlight for like the base but i'm going to mix it in with the foundation it's just got that gold i wonder if i can do a little swatch Ooh. okay 
it's a bit lumpy because mine's not used it in a while but do you just see how it's like golden and it's just it looks so nice if i properly mixed it or rubbed it in my hand do you just see that like if you were to put this all over your body you'll be golden like it's got that perfect golden undertone i love it i'm just gonna take my beauty blender to pounce it out because i really want it to be kind of not sheer but somewhat coverage but not full full coverage then for concealer it's going to have to be um two face born this way i'm going to use warm sand i may go in with cookie but this is like the most creamiest concealer ever it's like the perfect concealer like i love this concealer so much like i can set in spray again just spits the face I really want this look to be glowy and dewy and but still matte and not oily. Do you know what I mean? And setting spray really help with that. It helps to blend products together as well. The concealers. Like I said, I did pick up literally today. I was at work and I was like, Do you know what? I always contour either with E or with shade number nine from Maybelline. And I picked up two. Um, I use the L'Oreal Infallible. I use that one as a to clean up my brows or sometimes as my under eye concealer. But that's in a different shade. That's in the shade Toffee. Um, this shade is Cafe and it's a, like a deep contour, like a really deep contour shade. Um, looks like oh, it's like a really really deep shade. That shade right there like a really deep shade but to be fair i was looking at what is this this is the l'oreal paris oh no i got it l'oreal paris um true match and i really oh, i've always wanted to try their foundation and i'm gonna get it when i like town and stuff is open so me and my friend we're gonna go we're gonna do a shopping trip because we like to shop He's like totally into skincare and makeup and all that. So we're going to go shop till we drop. And, which I think I can contour with. And I think it does look, it does remind me of Toffee. Like I don't know if y'all can see it in here. But maybe Toffee. On the monitor maybe Toffee is a bit more golden. But this is just slightly deeper. So maybe mix it will be a perfect shade. Toffee I would say is a bit more golden. But it could be the frosted glass. But this is a good shade. And I think I'm gonna use this today. My, what? Why? Why every time I do my face, I itch. I'm so itchy. But no, itch is not gone. It's not gone. Oh my god. The number is eight point D slash W. That is what it is. And I've already took the stuff off because it actually took me ages. Oh, that's a good shade. And it's so it feels creamy. Oh, that's a good shade. To be fair, I didn't think this would be deep enough to contour me, but I think this is, I think this is a really good shade. It really does look, on the skin, it is comparable to Toffee from One This Way. Let's use my favourite, like, contour brush. This is the Zoeva Stippling Brush, the 125 brush. Bomb. Oh, let's see. I can already tell I love it. When I tell you this looks like toffee, like if you can't afford toffee from Too Faced, or you're looking for a dupe, or if you're you run out of toffee and you just need to pick up something, pick up that shade. I'm gonna take the Maybelline Fit Me powder in translucent. Just to I'm literally just keeping this underneath the eye. We'll go in with the glam glow glow setter setting spray i told you i want this to be a very glowy look so get whatever sprays that you have it's all about the sprays today okay i then think i'm going to go back in with the mark jacobs um dew drops 
I'm just gonna put some on the high points of my face. So I'm gonna take one pump, not even one pump, half a pump, because one pump is, is a lot. And I'm gonna go back in with the Beauty Blender and then just so it's like right here. I think that was a bit too much. <laughs> We'll, we'll be fine. We'll make it work. Do you just see that? That glow, that shine. So I think I'm going to take my Morphe M321 brush and I believe this is the shade New Digs. Like I said, man's dropped the palette, the shadows came out, but it's the, it's like the lighter, the lighter shade in the palette. I'm going to go into that and then just run that underneath the lash line. Happy with that, I'm actually happy with that colour. Probably can't tell on camera, it's literally like a wash of colour. But I'm gonna go with bottom lash mascara, so that's gonna be the main focus. Oh gosh, I think it's broken, but it's from Colourpop. It's the cream gel liner in the shade Get Paid. It's like this nice goldish colour, but it's broken. I have to be very careful with this. I don't know how that's happened, but I'm gonna do that and um, wipe away the bake, and then we shall be back. Well, I should be back. <laughs> so I've done that. I don't know if you can tell on camera because it is kind of like I'm looking at it in the monitor, and it is kind of light. But you know, normally I'm going for heavy, but am I? I want to keep it kind of light. The eyeliner kind of matches perfectly gives it like that sort of difference but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with the glam glow just to spritz it a bit I feel like this I have bought the L'Oreal True Match powder a lot of L'Oreal stuff I've bought today I've just realized and um, this is the finishing powder this is a super blendable silky touch Arden natural matte powder. Um, I got this in the shade. Oh wait, here it is. Yeah, nine point and cocoa. That's the shade. And it looks like it looks like this. It's kind of even though it says it's neutral. No, I agree. It's kind of neutral, but it's kind of it's kind of it's deep. It's kind of I see it's a bit warm. Like to be fair, it looks like a good shade. And like it is a face powder. It does come with a little mirror, and it has a little one of these. But who would actually? What do you know? Maybe a bit of blot. Okay, actually, yeah. And the mirror is kind of a good mirror. I ain't gonna lie. So try this. This is the BH Cosmetics. Um. It's my very, very brush number one. It's just like this big powder brush. And then let's just... Is this even doing anything? Oh wait, no. Yeah, it is. Okay. Again, I'm not mad at the shade. Next, I'm going to do blush and I'm going to go back in with my one the Morphe palette. The is this 8W, yeah, the Warm Master palette, and I want something kind of pinky peachy so what man gonna take man's gonna take 
provocative which is like this the like orange shade in the palette and then i'm gonna go over it's really pigmented trust me it's really pigmented I'm going sticking with Morphe. I'm going to take the highlight palette because I bought it like a few weeks ago and I've not used it. I'm like, Do you know what? fuck it, I'm going to use it now. Um, this is the Star Blazer 8Z palette. Yeah, 8Z. Um, looks like this. Like you get so many shades. Hope the camera's picking it up. Like it just looks bomb. And. I already have Spark, I've used Spark, I love Spark, but like Lit is like that kind of goldish shade. I don't know if I want to go in with this. Oh yeah, I am, I am. One swatch and it had me. Oh, but then extra, it's got like that peachy undertone or cosmic. And that's looking a bit too light. No, because the highlight underneath was kind of that goldish colour, I'm gonna go in with the yellow highlight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my setting spray and today I'm gonna go with the all nighter setting spray. This is the final spray. No, I lied. I lied. There's one more. There's one more spray. But this is the spray to set my skin. So on Ella baby. Shake it up well. And then for, like I said, for highlight, I'm going into the shade Lit. And then for the brush, I think I'm going to take the Zoeva um, Lux Powder Fusion brush. And it's number 134. So a little bit of kickback when you swirl your brush in. And there's a bit of fallout. Don't know if you could see that, but there's a little bit. But let's see what it's looking like on the skin. Oh, I see that. Oh, I know you'll see that. Lashes are from Tati Lashes and it's the TL21. Looks. I'm so getting ridiculous. Why is every time I do a full face, my, my face wants to be doing an itchy itch? Like, I don't understand. My nose is itchy. My eyes itchy. This is what it's looking like. Look at this one. Look at this, look at this one. This one's falling. But look at that. How it wings out. That's what we want today. And it's kind of like a natural lash. Because the eye is kind of natural. I don't want to go with something too heavy. Because it will just look weird to have like a natural eye look. And there's some big fuck off flashes. Like these are winged. And they are full and fluttery. But it's not too too thick. Do you know what I mean? So just find the right balance. Um the final spray i promise this is the glow recipe spray this is the ultra fine mist i'm just gonna shake it up really well and just go ham on the skin mm. look at it i've almost finished <laughs> listen when i like a product if I see it dwindle down. I actually get so upset. I get so so upset. <laughs> for um concealer, concealer, for mascara. That's what it's called. I'm gonna just use the Maybelline. Okay. While that's drying, I am gonna do some um faux freckles. So I might as well start now. I'm going to go in with the Zoeva Fine Liner Brush, the 315 brush. And I think first what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my Beauty Mark. I'm going to go into the black. I'm going to take the Collection Eyebrow Kit in Brunette. I use this to do my brows. Um, did I use this one today? I did use this one today actually. I took the black shade mainly because I wanted my brows to be a bit more harsh. Um, so yeah, I did use this. It's a good powder. Um, what is it? It's a good, it's a good product for your brows, basically. It's a drugstore. It's affordable. It's really good. So first, I'm gonna take the black. I'm gonna do my beauty mark right here. Mm. 
Hey, look at that. And then I'm gonna take one right here. And then just lightly take it. Oh dang, that one was a bit too ham, like that looks. I'll go back with my beauty blender, just blend them in, just pat it. The lightest shade, which is this shade right here in the palette, looks really great on the camera but it's not. Oh, before I forget. Maybe we going to do the lash. But yeah, so I'm gonna go into that grey shade and then just do a few more dots. And then that's it. See how they just kind of I don't know if you can see how it's just kind of random. Hope the camera's picking it up. It's probably not, to be fair, but that's a really good brush. Anything that's pointed and small would do just fine. Go in with the Morphe Sweet Tea Lip Liner. The Morphe Kissy Face Lipstick. This is the Mega Matte version. I know they do satin and other finishes. This is the matte version. And then the Morphe shimmy lip gloss and if we ever use this lip gloss we have to shimmy so we're gonna do a little shimmy 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 that's what we're doing so sweet tea kitty face shimmy for now i'm gonna leave it matte maybe when i take some pictures later i'll do it i put on a gloss but it's just like a peachy gloss i've done that combo before i'm sure i have I'm gonna get changed, show you how the finished look, and then we're gonna finish with the video. Video, hey, hey, hey. I'll be right back. Y'all see the outfit? Now, this is something I actually was wearing. I need to figure out where I'm gonna wear this to. But the hair is slaying, it's big, it's poofy. The jacket, in love with. I do wish it was a bit bigger at the top, but to be fair, if mum wore something like underneath, it wouldn't be a problem. It's just because I'm literally just wearing a bra underneath, but I love it. Let's start with um, the jacket, like the main thing. Oh my gosh, where did I get this from? Either I saw it first or them looks. Like, that's where I've been shopping. I wouldn't say more, but all my outfits mainly are either from Boohoo, Pretty Little Thing. I saw it first, Femlux. I was in another place, I can't remember the name. But if man eats a croissant, it's game over with. Do you know what I mean? So please, I beg, get your size. Maybe even size up. That would be a cute vibe. But I really wanted this fitted. And I think, yeah, perfect. I'm sure it's a large. I'm like 99% sure this is a large. Um, this cute bra I paired it with. I think this was for my first ever try on haul. It's from, is it Bolt Avenue? The bra, it's like a bralette, like it's, so it's like the bra but it's got like a lace detailing which keeps on rolling up because men just a pet pig. But yeah, it's the, the, the like lace bra. I think I got it in pink and red. But I wore the white one today because it just, it just went. It, ju it was calling my name. So at first I did the black bra and I was like, no, no, no. But then I tried the white one on and it just looked so good. It looked so put together. This is what the bra's looking like. See what I mean? Like it's got that lace at the bottom. It's got, you can see this even more. Oh, right, do you know what I mean? This wouldn't be an everyday bra. Like you wouldn't go uni in this, you wouldn't go to work in this. This is like outfit or you're doing sexy, sexy time. Do you know what I mean? But it's really comfortable, really, really nice. Jeans just um, from Primark. They're high-waisted, it's got three buttons size 14 um it was just their standard jeans but i wanted like a blue wash jean another 
um, nice jeans. Ooh, the white jeans that I got from Pretty Little Thing from my, I think it's my third haul? Second, no, my second haul, because I'm not doing third haul. My, was it my third? I think it's my second haul. That would have been nice because it could have tied in with the bra. And so, the um, white jeans, the white bra, you know what I mean? And shoes, something other than black boots, because I always say black boots without any look. And to, to be fair, you could probably wear boots. Even black boots are probably bang. You can even wear white boots. But for me, I'd probably wear heels, white heels. Do you know what I mean? If I was gonna wear this, which, what do you mean if I'm gonna wear? I'm going to wear this. This is like cocktails with friends, but not spoons. We've upgraded from spoons now. The up, upper tier. So if you're going to like a really fancy place with friends and like you just wanna look really really cute that like you can even wear this jacket like say you've, you're going to work obviously wear something underneath it i mean i don't know where you work but wear something underneath it because you could literally change into a pair of jeans or if you already wear jeans just have like a nice cute bra that you can show like show off a little bit white heels and it's a vibe like if you were to pull up in a nice fancy bar like this like i feel like it'll be acceptable look at this if, if I wore white heels now, like come on, don't I just look? Do y'all like it? Do y'all like it? Cause I love it. I love this look. It's a really good look. So yeah. Ooh. But yeah. Let me just come back to y'all one time. <laughs> but yeah, this is something I would wear. I hope you like it. So that is everything hope you've enjoyed today i hope you like the look hope the lighting's all right because i had to move it just for a second and i don't know if it's now too bright or whatever but from what i see it looks okay we're looking okay but look at the skin like the skin's glowing but yeah we're not oily i can't see one bit of oil and i think it was really to do with the instamat thing but then the rest of my face is hydrated and it just I'm so sorry but no this look even though it's so it's like really simple like a child can do it do you know what i mean it just when you have the wig on and the outfit everything just comes together that's everything like comment subscribe do all of that continue to spread awareness and i shall see you guys in the next one bye